All right, guys, sorry, my phone filled up again, like it always does. I delete all my videos and photos, and every time I do use the phone, it just keeps filling up for some reason, so it's a piece of crap. I gotta get a new one with a memory card or something in it. It's, it's really aggravating. That's why I stopped doing my intros and my outros, because putting all the videos together, it just it never has enough space for some reason, so. I think we left off with this car. I don't know if we missed one or not, but this is the 68 Cougar. This one's pretty sweet. Love this casting. Um, it always looks good. Uh, I get this is one I'm a completionist on, so I buy them no matter what they have on it. I got a ton of them now, so I don't know if I have them all. I should look it up someday and see how many I got left. But I love this casting. This next one is really nice looking. The color on this one, they did a great job. It's the only one I have like this color, I believe. 71 Dodge Challenger. This beautiful dark blue metallic. <clears throat> beautiful color. Very nicely done. So that is a very nice color. Love it. Next up, we have an 84. Yep, 84 Pontiac Firebird. Black. Awesome looking car. Good job they did it in black. Look at, like it. Beautiful casting. Love this casting. Right, next up, I believe I showed this one in my GTO, my Pontiac challenge, but I'm going to show it again. It's perfect for this challenge. By Johnny Lightning. I think this is a 71 Pontiac GTO judge. It's definitely got some red, white, and blue on it. It's a beautifully done car. I love it. Very nicely done. Love the graphics on this car. Next up, we have a Matchbox, the Corvette Stingray Chase from last year. It's red, white, and blue all over it. Love this car. I'm so glad I bought this. I really hope to get the Bronco to go with it. The Bronco looks sweet. I'll probably have to buy it secondhand like I did this one, but what are you, gonna do? you never know. But this one's beautiful. They did a great job on this. It's got a nice pearl white finish on it. The real riders look great. Awesome chase. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, next up we have a 1940 Ford. This is Johnny Lightning. This is from some um, Postal Service collection. Um, pretty cool though I bought a I think I got the whole set I'm pretty sure I did okay guys sorry I had to stop the video again all filled up so I think we're at this vehicle right now um, this will be a part two of these videos because I had to upload part one to get more room on my phone this is 1940 Ford part of a postal series set from Johnny Lightning really cool looking it does open, I believe, but it's really cry. It doesn't stay open in engines, just a gray, nothing engine. So, but this was a good set. I got for a good price, I believe. I got from Jovita. That's pretty cool. And then we have a 29 Ford, I believe. Uh, yeah, 
29 Ford also in postal set. This one's awesome. Definitely cool. Let's go a little quicker, guys. I don't want this to fill up again. And next up, we got a Hot Wheels Premium 70 Dodge Charger. Forgot the name of this set this came in. I have the whole set. I can't remember what the name of it was. But this is an awesome charger. Next up, we have another Johnny Lightning, Plymouth Superbird, Sox and Martin. Next up, we'll have, I believe this is an Auto World, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, M2, I'm sorry, an M2. 76 GMC. Awesome casting. Beautiful truck. Beautiful truck. Very nicely done. Square body. The tailgate goes down on this too. The hood does open. It's not the greatest in there, but it's not too bad. GMC. Awesome truck. And then I'll close with the trailer. Chase trailer that I got with Statue of Liberty on it. Figured that'd be a good closure. So guys, happy Memorial Day. Remember all who died to give us our freedoms. Don't give up your freedom so easy. Don't let these commie bastards that think they're ruining our country take our freedoms away. Alright guys, have a great rest of your Memorial Day weekend.